Morena. Um, welcome to my um, Taha Wairua vlog. Um, so yes, today um, I will be um, sort of sharing with you viewers um, what I consider looking after my wairua. Um, so personally for me, um, I I go, I like to go home, back to where I come from, and I spend a lot of time there um, at the Urupa where um, significant family members are, are buried, and also my whanau who, is, um, who lives down there, um, and that for me is good for my for my spirit, my wairua. But today I thought <clears throat> the next best thing to give you as an example um, of what that looks like is to take you out to the Arataki Visitor Centre. I think that's what it's called. Um, yes, and it's also the uh, Waitaki Rainforest. Um, and I will be taking a te ao Māori um, approach um, and giving you um, my understanding of taking care of your wairua that way. So, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Language is a treasure. From people's names to the places we live in and visit, the Māori language is part of everyday life in New Zealand. It is a rich and valuable resource for us all, and by using it, we share in the cultural heritage that weaves into and helps make up our Kiwi culture. Māori at Manuka, take up the challenge. Practice your pronunciation. All right, and that concludes my examples of Taha Wairua. Um, for me, Taha Wairua and, and taking care of my Wairua is being in a place like this where I can connect myself to um, the land, rivers, uh, lakes, and um, just nature in general. So I get a lot of uh, peace and comfort from being out here. And, um, but yeah, so everyone's different. Everyone will find their own, own ways of, of um, taking care of their, um, their wairua, whether that be through church or um, swimming. There's lots of ways to take care of your wairua, but I guess it's all about you connecting yourself. Um, we're having a spiritual link a link to who you are and where you come from so yeah um and in our next vlog um i will be covering i think it's taha whanau so till then um take care and kakite.